With a positive market, dealers seem to be looking for more profit and value instead of just surviving. The industry's recovering. Everyone's kind of trying to figure out what to do now. Uh, bigger dealers are acquiring more dealerships. Uh, I think some of the smaller dealers have uh, figured out what they need to do to stay in business and now it's how do we get more profitable and and that's what we're focused on but I see that when we talk to our dealers they're they're it's not whether I'm gonna stay in business anymore now it's how am I gonna get more profitable how do I save money how do I sell more one of the big concerns from all the dealers is that are they getting the best deal and not, and not only are they getting the best deal but are they getting good service because mm -hmm. uh, it is a group buy and we are bringing in a lot of rooftops with each deal that we do and my answer is they're getting the best service. They're getting better service than they would on their own because they have us. We have a direct relationship with the highest levels of each vendor we work with. Mm -hmm. So uh, if there's a problem with service, then I can personally pick up the phone and call the CEO of that company and say, hey, we have this dealer and you need to take care of it. Uh, furthermore, because there's no long-term contracts, there's no, you know, the dealer can cancel any time. Uh, the vendor knows and we know that if that dealer is not happy, they're just going to shoot us an email and say, I want out. So because of that, we work even harder to make sure that our dealers are extremely happy with every product and with the vendor and the service that they're getting.